not only just for pretty decorations. Pop Dolls now the stars in board games where you use your various favorite pop characters with their unique abilities to attack and achieve scenario goals. This is Funko's first strategy game. What is it about? In this video, we're going to show you what to expect from the Funkoverse strategy game. And if you watch till the end, we hope you can get a pretty good feel for this game. Coming up. Hi, it's Tarrant. Stella from Ripon University, we bring you a variety of quality board game videos. Now, let's find out more about Funkiverse Strategy Game, designed by Prospero Hall and published by Funko Games. Released in 2019, Funkiverse Strategy Game is a light skirmish game played using Funko Pop vinyl figurines. The game is by Prospero Hall, with publishing by Funko Games. The game plays two players or teams competitively with an estimated duration of 20 to 60 minutes and is of light complexity. In this video, we are showing you the four character Harry Potter version of the Funkiverse strategy gaming system. Alternative versions set in the DC, Golden Girls and Rick and Morty universes, as well as two character add-ons for the Harry Potter and DC universes are also available at the time of filming this video. The Funkiverse strategy game is a light, scenario-driven skirmish, designed to play two players, but can accommodate higher player counts by splitting into teams. Each team will control two or three characters, depending on whether you want a short or long game. In each round, players will alternate taking turns by activating one character, taking up to two actions with that character. The round ends once all characters have been activated once. Each character has four basic actions it can take. Move up to two spaces, either orthogonally or diagonally. Assist to stand up an adjacent teammate who has been knocked down. Interact with the map, the nature of which will change from scenario to scenario. Or challenge in combat. Challenges are resolved by a roll of the dice. The attacker rolls dice equal to the challenge value and is trying to roll stars. The defender rolls according to the defender's defense value and is trying to roll shields. For either side, rolling the exclamation marks counts as three successes, meaning battles can swing dramatically on the roll of the dice. If the attacker wins, then the defender is knocked down and can take no other action on its next turn than to stand back up. If a defender is already knocked down when it loses a challenge, then it is instead knocked out temporarily removed from the board before returning to the board in the team's starting area for the next round. And knocking opponents out is usually one of the ways that players can score points. Each character also has three special abilities available, and each of these shows an icon and a number. Taking such an ability costs only one action point, but the matching token must be placed on the corresponding numbered space on the cooldown track. This moves down one step at the end of each round and returns to the player only after it has moved off the bottom of the cooldown track. This places a limitation on how frequently players can use their more valuable abilities. The aim of the skirmish is to score points. The exact means of scoring points varies depending on the scenario, but points are generally gained by knocking out your opponents in challenges, interacting with items specific to the scenarios, or reaching or capturing the opponent's flag. The first player to score 6 points in a 2 versus 2 game, or 10 points in a 3 versus 3 game, is the winner. And that's what to expect from Funkiverse Strategy Game. We hope that you enjoyed this video, and we hope that it helps you. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know by hitting the like button, write your questions or feedback in the comment sections below. You can also join our Facebook group, Meeple University Community, to share your love of board games. And finally, if you'd like to be among the first notified of what's new from Meeple University, please consider subscribing to our channel, you can click on the Meeple up in the corner to do so, and do hit the bell to be notified of our new videos. Until next time!